Christianity Decoded, knowing you, whoever you are, the viewer, aha, welcome to this episode of Reality Decoded. It is a predictive programming episode, and it is a predictive programming episode. It does give me a certain amount of titillation and pleasure, because one of my comedic uh, heroes in uh, one of my t favorite TV shows of all time, um, Alan Partridge in particular, knowing me, knowing you with Alan Partridge, pretty much depicted, stroke, predicted the events that we may or may not be aware about that you have uh, could have heard or seen circulating on your social media news feeds that reports of Alec Baldwin, a big Hollywood actor, accidentally shooting a co-actor or in particular the case uh, has it a stunt worker that was on set when somehow um in a bizarre series of circumstances and questionable events live ammunition managed to get itself in to a dummy gun and somehow um a stunt actor lost their life at a result at the hands of Alec Baldwin. So here we are at a little article from the nationalfile.com. And you can see there that Alec Baldwin accidentally kills a woman with a prop gun. And he once tweeted about how it must feel to wrongfully kill somebody. Now, we're not going to go very, very far into trying to decode the event itself. So I'm sure there's going to be some decoding uh, to be done with this event, as is always the case with these either staged forced flag events that seem to circulate and make the rounds of mainstream media and then get a whole bunch of reactions. And you better believe it that this event is already being memed. I'm seeing quite a few memes going around on this event, particularly those that kind of support um, gun rights and the NRA and stuff and sort of claiming that Alec Baldwin, an anti-gun lobbyist, has killed more people than the AR-15 in the back of their truck. Another popular memetic and an example of how memetics is molding the minds of the masses. But back to the article. As I said, we're not going to do too much decoding about the event because it is very, very, very questionable, um, but we are just going to read what is being said, um, and then we are going to look um, back to the 1990s, the mid-1990s, when Britpop was at its height, the Spice Girls were emerging, and Alan Partridge was the most funniest thing on television at the time, and arguably, some could say the greatest comedic British um, sitcom ever made. But um, back to the article, there is a picture of um, Alec Baldwin. Uh, but before I do go on, we are going to, as I said, go back to the 1990s and see a little example of the predictive stroke depictive programming from Knowing Me, Knowing You with Alan Partridge when um, the, the host of a fictional, a fictional uh, TV chat host inadvertently shot dead one of his guests live on T when uh, live on TV when uh, somehow a uh, live ammunition got into an antique um, dueling pistol but far left actor the uh, article starts out by saying an anti-gun zealot Alec Baldwin shot and killed the cinematographer and wounded the director of his new movie Rust, rust in peace, Alec, is your career about to take a dwindle and dive down the toilet? And will you, just like Alan Partridge from the fictional realms of the BBC stroke Sky TV um, sitcom, have to bounce back with a book and autobiography after overcoming a Toblerone addiction? But anyway... While he was filming his movie, Rust, um, early reports indicate to have been a bizarre incident involving a prop gun, and authorities are investigating the situation. The fatal shooting took place in Santa Fe County, New Mexico, where Baldwin and the victims were filming portions of a new Western-themed movie titled Rust. 
where Baldwin was both producing the film and appearing in it um, as an actor, and he has admitted responsibility for the incident. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly, how accurately this does seem to mirror the events of Knowing Me, Knowing You, starring Alan Partridge, which we will be looking at shortly, and hopefully won't get a community strike for, because we are using it under the Fair Use Act, and it is for comedic parody and educational and informative purposes only and uh, we can categorize this as entertainment if you like but um he has accepted responsibility for the incident and he's also issued an apology to the victim's family um by all accounts look at that you can get yourself a mug there shove that mask up your ass i'm freedom fighting in holding the line by buying a mask the elites are quaking in their boots now i've bought a mug that says shove it up your ass uh, sorry about that. Um, but anyway, it is also unclear at this point whether or not the shooting took place during filming or if it just took place on set itself. And again, it's very, very bizarre how enough live ammunition somehow gets in mixed in with blank ammunition. And you'd also sort of question in this day and age of CAGI in SF. X, do they even need blank ammunition or, or, or dummy weapons at all on set? Could they just not maybe CGI them in later and add the sound effects as required? I don't know about you, um, but that does seem sort of not relatively out of the realms of modern day technology to do such a thing. And um, how on earth blank ammunition and live ammunition somehow get um, mixed up and somehow get loaded into a gun? that somehow manages to kill a stunt person and injure a producer on the set of a big budget Hollywood movie. But the news release from the Santa Fe County, New Mexico Sheriff's Office described officers as being dispatched to the scene after receiving a call about a shooting on set and finding both 42-year-old cinematographer Haley Hutchins, double H there, HH88, make of that what you will, and the 48-year-old director Joel um, Souza, and he was suffering from wounds after they were shot when a prop firearm was discharged by Alec Baldwin. Now, did he fire twice? And if maybe like the cinematographer, this this double H individual, um, who was also a stuntman, you can understand maybe they were doing a scene and Alec Baldwin was going to shoot her with a prop gun and she was going to do a kill scene or die or fall out of a saloon wheat um, window and into a, a horse drinking um, bucket, like it's often the case in many Western movies. Um, but how did the producer get shot? And they're saying they didn't know if it was during filming or if it was on set. And was this sort of addict just having a tantrum and um, popped off a couple of rounds unbeknowing that there was live ammunition in it? Or did somebody set Alec up? Or did Alec go out of his way to stage this event? As I said, lots of decoding to do um, in that. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. You can sort of question and ask um, any I think you like in the comments below regarding to the event itself. But back to the article, um, it goes on to say that both individuals were tra transported to the local hospitals and Hutchins, who was transported by helicopter, three H's there, um, was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Souza is currently undergoing treatment for his injuries, the statement says. And there is a news release update from the sheriff's office, uh, um, office from whatever county in New Mexico it is, Santa Fe, New Mexico. And uh, October 21st, 2021, 21, 21, 21, uh, almost there. Um, Santa Fe security, um, not security, county sheriff's deputies were dispatched to, um, I can't read that, bone, Bonesana. But Bonanza, I can't read it, it's getting a little bit squinty. Um, Creek Ranch to a movie set of the Western Rust on October the 21st at 2021 when a 911 caller reported a shooting on set. A sheriff's office confirms that two individuals were shot on the set of Rust um, 
Helena Hutchins of 42. We know she's a director of photography and Joel Sosa. They're not really saying much more than we already read above in the uh, opening paragraphs. Miss Hutchins was transported by a helicopter and was reported dead. Yada, yada, whoop de woo, ray tay tay. That is what the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office is saying. But the article is going on to say Alec Baldwin has lost, um, has a long history of personal and professional issues that have plagued his life, um, making headlines for the tenter tantrum, temper tantrums, TT, and anger issues, AI, um, many times over the years. A long time leftist Baldwin plays the far left caricature of 45 uh, the 45th president Donald Trump on Saturday Night Live and often spreading disinformation about Trump and uh, the United States despite regularly using firearms in the movies that have netted him millions of dollars as a leftist he has spent much time working to limit the second amendment rights of american citizens and is this event all been staged planned out and carried out in order to further his um uh, his work lobbying against the second amendment i inadvertently shot somebody we don't even need guns on states prop guns or real guns um as i said it's, there's probably going to be quite a little bit of backlash in, in talk about guns guns in the coming days i'm sure but uh he has been spoken uh very outspoken about the second amendment and um he's even spearheaded campaigns against gun owners some on twitter were quick to point out that baldwin's anti-gun politics and wondered if ignorant and irresponsible firearm handling led to this tragic death on set um, breaking news. There's a tweet from um, Breaking 911 um, showing a little church from above. I'm not sure if there's some symbology going on. You could kind of maybe say that that little tower thing there could be a pyramid. Excuse that. Obviously, you've got a cross that could be considered. Um, ceremonial perhaps to to whatever sacrificial event was going on if that was the case but um as i said there was a tweet that was circulating about um gun owners suggesting that maybe he didn't have enough gun knowledge because he spoke about them and that is why this happened but ironically baldwin baldwin who has been frequently a critic um of law enforcement and an ally of the far left Black Lives Matter. Of course, he's not really those things. He is just an actor that plays the part and reads the scripts he needs to, to, to read. And he gets paid to be street, um, paid to read, whether it be on screen or be it on a social media or Saturday Night Live parodying a President Trump. Um, but interestingly enough, and almost foreshadowingly, um, he pronounced or pondered on Twitter that how it must feel to wrongfully kill someone in highlighting a California police shooting. Um, and there is a screenshot of uh, that tweet from uh, a ticked, a blue ticked Alan B Alec Baldwin account. Um, and it says, I wonder how it must feel to wrongfully kill somebody. And there's a little meme, perhaps, or, or something that was shared, regardless, an article about the incident in California where uh, an officer shot somebody trying to rob a convenience store. Um, and there's a breaking news. Alec Baldwin fired the gun that killed one and injured another. An accident um, on the set of his film Rust. Um, and again, this might very well be just an elaborate and uh, um, very extreme uh, promotional campaign for the movie Rust. Obviously, it's got some notoriety already and um, some controversy behind it. And uh, will this uh, uh, add a little bit of um, dollars signs to the box, lot of, or the box office returns or the straight to streaming service that you may watch it on your laptop or iPad? Um, but that, as I said, is the little article. Um, it is under investigation. By all accounts, he is going to be talking to the police or is talking to the police about this. And he has issued an, um, an apology to the victim's family. So as I said, guys, we could go on longer and longer and do a little bit of decoding in the event itself. But the sort of official narrative and reports are a little bit sketchy that aren't saying too much about it. But 
maybe if you are um, a part of the like-minded crowd, there are regular offenders that tune in to ship video productions. I'm pretty sure you will be questioning every last bit of this event that saw Alec Baldwin accidentally kill a woman and injure a director on the set of his new movie. So we are going to play you out now with a little um, glimpse of Knowing Me and Knowing You, starring Alan Partridge, played by Steve Coogan. Um, and it was a comedy, sitcom a comedy show that sort of parodied, parodied a chat show and what could go wrong often did go wrong in this and in the season finale unfortunately alan partridge did do just exactly what alec baldwin's done in reality and shot a guest uh live on tv in an eerie eerie prophecy of mirrored imaging predictive programming depicted programming let me know what you think so as i say guys i'm going to say goodbye to you we'll see you next time at ship video productions and reality decoded till then take care keep it thrifty and be excellent to each other and enjoy this clip from 99 is uk tv alan partridge kills a guest live on tv <laughs> I love the bagpipes. I love the screeching, wheezing, rasping din they make. Be careful with that. Oh, oh my God! Uh, what happens now? What happens now? Is there a doctor somewhere? It's not my fault. It wasn't my. I didn't know it was loaded. I didn't know it was loaded. There is no need to panic. I didn't know it was loaded. It's not my fault. I'm not. Oh, is he all right? I'm afraid he's dead. Give it, yeah. Cover him up! Cover him up with this! <laughs> Shit! Right, I'm the executive producer, you're fine. You're fine, it's gone. Well, you just killed a man and yes, I'm fine. Yes, you're fine, it's gone. I'm fine. Yes, you're fine. I'm fine. Yes. I'm fine. Yes. I'm fine. Yes. Wanker! Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 right. Get, the pi get the pipers back on! We're carrying on. Get the pipers back on! Back on! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Knowing Me, Knowing You with Alan Partridge. It's a live show. Um, in, a, in a live television, anything can happen. Um, I, I, I don't know if you remember Blue Peter when the elephant um, made, a mess, made a mess on the studio floor. I, ironically, it was in this very studio tonight. I'm like, I've made a mess. I can't deny it. You saw it there. You saw, saw it here first. Another exclusive for Knowing Me, Knowing You with Alan Partridge or, or Kim Kawap. Um, just as, the, as a packet of Kim Kawaps helped clear up a mess, I'm... I'm going to help clear up this mess, so may I be the first to offer my condolences to the family of Forbes Glenn McAllister. McAllister, Forbes McAllister. <laughs> but he's at peace now. He went out like a light, and he wouldn't have suffered. <laughs> he wouldn't have suffered. I shot him straight through the heart. <laughs> well, it's time to close the show and the series in the way that Forbes would have wanted, with the Balmoral Highland Pipers playing us out, together with my. Wonderful, wonderful guests, and of course, the Alan Partridge playmates, and very lovely they are. Um, I'll, I think I'll have to speak to the police. They're uh, here now. They're waiting for me in the wings. Um, no, me, Alan Partridge, knowing you, the police, uh huh? Um, I'm chatting, I'm chatting with you uh, in a short while. Um, in the meanwhile, enjoy the rest of the show, what's left, officers. Um, so, so, on that fatal bombshell, it simply remains for me to say. Goodbye for the last time. By the way, if any of you are in Manchester on the 17th of next month, I'm opening a new Texas home care. So why don't you uh, <laughs> pop along? It should be a lot of fun. Um, for now, this is me, Alan Partridge, saying, knowing me, Alan Partridge, knowing you, whoever you may be, aha! <laughs> Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. Listen. Everywhere you look in this world, wherever there is light, there will always be shadows to be found as well.